both of you. Yeah, hey, how you doing? Hi. So, how do you feel about spring so far? You're, what, four in, right? Yeah, um, got through the first week, starting our second week. Feel really good about it. Defense has been doing their thing and been on the field with each other and just, you know, bonding, creating those bonds to last through fall camp this season and feeling really good about it. How's it feel when you get, uh, like today, it seemed like the defense was surging there at the end. You guys are like clapping when the offense like. We just love what we do. And when we're on a roll, we we get we get into it. And sometimes we got to like dial down, but we love what we do, so we show it. Why are you going to dial it down? Just because, you know, keep a men, uh, what, what am I trying to say? Keep our mental right, just make sure, you know, offense is doing what they got to do and just not get too big headed. Where are you physically compared to last offseason weight? Shoot, well, last offseason, spring, um, I wasn't doing team, but now I'm full go. So I've been full go for a little over a year. So. Compared to the season, though, where are you? Are you about the same weight you were during the season? Oh, um, I've gained like five more pounds. Yeah. Around 260. Well, as far as your new defensive coordinator goes, we've heard, you know, Chip talked about how he's you know, brought in some like fresh ideas and has a unique approach. Are there some examples you can give us about maybe how things are different with him in the fold this year? I think like in meetings, he's more, he makes sure everybody's on the same page and everybody knows what we're doing. And he's really like a technical guy and makes sure like, you know, like he brings the D-line in to go over coverages and stuff like that. So everybody knows what everybody's doing, trying to be on the same page. So that's what I, I love about him. How's it different working with a Kaika as opposed to, um, you had him before, but now you've brought in all the interior defensive linemen to those drills. Well, we love it because we get to be on the same page, like I've been saying, and um, you know we're doing all the drills together. And I think it, it just grows us closer together as opposed to last year when we were separated. Hey, Ali, I think you had a choice to, to I think this is the bond that I grew with, grew with these guys, and I wanted to. I know we have something special going, and I wanted to continue that and grow that. And I think that's what we've been doing this first week, first week of spring ball, and going into the second. Yeah. You obviously had a you know just an impactful story with coming back from, from that injury mm -hmm. and you know being told we're going to play at Washington and come mm -hmm. here. And last year is a big success story. I mean, you know, what's next for you? What do you hope to do? You know, in, in this kind of next year, you see. I want to take it all the way to a national championship with this team. And I believe we can do it. We just got to stay on the right path and keep growing with each other, trusting in each other. And I think we can make some big things happen. With, uh, with Dan, to just to go back to him, yeah. you know, obviously he spent last year as the safeties coach for the Ravens. Is there anything kind of in, in specific, you know, that, that he's brought, you know, from, from a pro level kind of knowledge and understanding that you feel like he's applied? You guys. No, most definitely he brings in a lot of clips that we can look at and you know we can see visualize ourselves on the field and doing the same things and like I said earlier just the whole defense together is just a really impactful thing and knowing what everyone's got so that we can be rolling on the field and you know not second guess. What, what's his style like? Like how is he just just as a dude? You know? No he's he's real specific um he's in the process of going close with us and he's just really cool yeah he's really down to earth and gives us tips and pointers whenever and is honest too, so that's why I love about him. Yeah. Do you see yourself taking on like a leadership role this, this year? You know, second year here, everything you've been through? Yeah, I do. I do see myself in that. And I've been growing myself as a leader on this team and in our room, and that's why, I, that's why I'm kind of trying to focus on this spring and going into fall camp. What do you think your leadership style is? I'm not a person who talks a lot, so I try and lead by example most of the time, and that's where I'm growing with myself. Um, trying to be better, more vocal, and, you know, trying to get the guys on the same page and, you know, talk to each one because I can be a real quiet guy, so I'm trying to speak up a lot more. Have you reached out to, like, any, I don't know, mentors or anything for advice on that, or is this all intrinsic? So I, I reach out to Coach Pete sometimes from UW. Um, I talk to Coach Malloy a lot, um, and I have a lot of friends, like, from back home and back at UW that I talk to, too, and I have dudes like Joe Tron in the league that I, I – you know, get some game from, and I talk to, and try to pick up some things. So, I definitely have good people around me. So, defense has added some transfers. Uh, you know, Jake Heimlicker, Keanu Williams. What are your early impressions of those guys? I I love them. They go hard every day, and I wouldn't want to be doing it with anybody else. Is there anything specific that uh, 
they both bring that maybe you can point to that you think will really add to what this defense does? I think they just add more, you know, because they love they love extra work. They love getting it in. So I think that bringing that positivity to the team, it'll create like, you know, a better team overall. Yeah. What do you like about the, the, the spring ball practice format? You know, yeah. you go in every other day and yeah. you don't have a spring game or anything, but Not, yeah. what are the benefits of you know, the schedule? I think the benefits of the schedule is that it gives us time for school and then um, really it's a lot of mental thinking, like, you know, just knowing what we got so that going into fall camp in the season, like going into contact and stuff like that, we already know what we got going on mentally and on the field and know what we got like what we're doing instead of focusing on like the mess of part and always being in here, but yeah. Are you kind of itching for that contact? Though? No, I am, yeah. <laughs> I, and everyone is. Everyone's trying to give each other a pop on the field, but yeah, no, for sure. I want to talk about the quarterbacks this offseason. From your point of view, what have you seen from the guys and how some of the new guys, Colin and Dante, sort of you know, adjusted as the teammates to you guys? Yeah, no, they, they're hard workers. They go at it every, every practice. Um, always competitive with the guys, those guys, always talking to them, uh, chipping at them, and, you know, always competitive, so you got to love that. Good deal.